<laughs> We're here with uh, Principal Dr. Jeff Marker, who's just going to do a little Q&A for students on um, things and questions that they have. Um, our first question is always, and most importantly, about grades. Um, we have a student who asked uh, if he didn't do his work, would it affect his grade? Yes. <laughs> um, if you don't do your work, your grade doesn't go up. Um, so if you have a 93, it won't go any higher than a 93 if you don't do your work. The other piece of that is that if you have a 53, you also do not have your grade go up. Um, so if you're satisfied with where your grade is and you have straight A's, then I would say you are good to go. I would recommend you still do it for the learning. But if you have F's, the zero that shows up in the Tyler system is just showing that it doesn't hurt your grade. If you take the time to do the work and earn the points, your grade will jump by leaps and bounds. So my advice, do the work, get those grades up. Uh, kids wanted to know, would we be doing finals um, no. during this time? We will not be having finals this school year. Um, well, for this semester. Um, we are in a position where we can't uh, accurately and appropriately monitor what kids would be doing. So um, as a part of the hold harmless, we are not having students do any exams. Do you believe that we'll be returning to the building this school year and holding classes? No. Um, Dr. Kilbrad has been very clear that at this point we are done with brick and mortar sessions for learning at Rittner High School for the 1920 school year. Will we be holding summer school? And if so, um, how do they get registered? How do they talk to their the counselor? Who do they talk to? Well, one, we will be having summer school. It will be a virtual summer school like we are doing now. Um, to tell you exactly when, I don't have that answer yet. We're having ongoing meetings that we're trying to solidify that to align elementary, middle, and high schools to all have the exact same summer school period of time. Um, so we, but we will not be in the building. If you're looking to register, I would highly suggest that you reach out to your counselor and let them know that you are interested. The other important thing that I need to say is that we have decided uh, in conjunction with the district leadership team that it will only be for credit recovery. There will not be any original credit class this summer. Um, so for kids who left items at school, let's talk about gym clothes, for example, in the locker or in their own personal locker. Um, how can they get those materials back? We are working with the district leadership team to provide a time for kids to come into the building to retrieve the items that they left, even though they were told to take them home. Um, we haven't solidified a date yet. We are working on that. Um, it would be an expectation, though I am positive that when you come in, that you absolutely would have to have a face mask coming into the building. So what about uh, kids who brought home their Chromebooks? have been working on their Chromebooks. Um, do they need to bring those back at some point? Yes, uh, I would imagine that whenever we have the kids coming back to school to retrieve their items, that we during that period of time, whatever it is, whether it's a couple of days, whether it's a week, um, again, we're working with the leadership team in the district to put things in place to keep folks safe, but still have you retrieve the items that you need as a student and for us to get back the items that we need to continue to be able to have high quality experiences for students with technology, uh, they will occur simultaneously. Finally, uh, lots of kids uh, who purchased our yearbooks, um, do we know when those will be available for pickup? My hope and prayer is that, again, that this is all a simultaneous experience so that we don't have to have people running up to the building two, three, four times because I know that there is no transportation from the district, which would make it difficult to have P 
people have to come to the building multiple times. So I, I hate to be vague, but I believe that we're better off being ready to go and being able to do one thing, all things in one visit, as opposed to asking people to come back to the building several times. Great. And there's, is there any final message you want to leave for the students? I can't believe how much I miss you guys. I mean, I, I missed you on weekends, let alone now that it's been weeks and weeks and weeks away. Um, I would just ask that in this being teacher appreciation week that if you have the time to put something out there on social media, I know you guys live on it. Um, thanking a teacher or thanking all of your teachers for what they do, because this has been very difficult for them as well, because their life is about interacting with you as students. And although they're still doing it virtually, they certainly miss having those personal interactions with you. Well, thank you for your time. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.